Hey, my name is Rob Balasab. It's glad to have you here. In this video, I'm going to give you a bit of an introduction, a bit of a tour into Adobe Express. If you're just checking out Adobe Express, maybe you're using another platform for graphic designs, for designing thumbnails and social post images and those sorts of things. Um, maybe you're using a competitor, maybe Canva or uh, maybe even Photoshop or some other platform and you're looking for something maybe easier with a bit more features and so you're exploring different platforms maybe you came across this video glad that you're here my name is rob balasabas really this channel is all about content creation how to be a better content creator and also how to monetize your content um, this video though will be a tutorial all right and so if you're listening to this on the podcast check out the video version on youtube so you can kind of see all of the screen recording and what we're doing with Adobe Express, all right? So without further ado, let's jump into my screen. So you can see my screen and you can see uh, a bit of Adobe, all right? So let's go into my screen now. All right, so now if you are on YouTube or maybe you're on Substack, you'll be able to catch this video version if you're watching this, or sorry, if you're listening to this on the podcast, uh, then head over to those other platforms so you can see the video version of this uh, tutorial all right um, and so okay so now you guys are watch you guys are seeing my screen this is Adobe Express this is the website and we are going to be jumping into um, my actual Adobe Express account in just a couple of minutes but I wanted to just go over some really quick things here in terms of Adobe Express okay so as I scroll here you'll see that Adobe Express has a free version all right free project you can see that right away from Adobe um, if you scroll down here there is a option here to use to create an account for free right right there just click on that purple button there um, and also you can you don't need to be putting in a credit card or anything like that there is a free forever plan that you can use and um, check out and start using Adobe all right I'll, sh I'll tell you a little bit of the difference between the free plan and the premium plan in just a couple of minutes okay um, here's some of the things that you can create you can create flyers logos banners social posts, stories, right? Um, Instagram stories, that sort of thing, TikTok, right? Um, not just images, but also videos, social ads, right? If you're running ads uh, for yourself or for the company that you work for, um, you can have uh, templates for that as well. And of course, there's always custom sizes here. So there's gonna be some different um, images, things you need to design that may not have a template in the specific dimensions that you're looking to create and so you can have an option to create custom sized images all right i'll show you where to find that in just a second okay and so you can edit images and videos on the go okay this is the really the easiest thing you there are apps there is an adobe express app for your phone if you're on a mac you can download the adobe express app as well but you can also just access this on your browser okay so you don't you know you don't need to download anything okay so it's on the go it's on the fly whatever you need you can access these tools right on the browser okay so there's different options here there's different tools for photos right and also videos here's your files right here's you know you can remove background resize images convert to jpeg png svg and of course crop your images now when it comes to videos you can convert videos to GIFs or GIFs, <laughs> uh, MP4, crop your video, trim your video, resize, reverse your videos, merge videos, and change the speed. You can slow-mo or speed it up. When it comes to your files, you can create PDFs, export them, export PDFs, combine your PDFs, convert PDFs, edit PDFs, and organize PDFs. Of course, PDF is an Adobe uh, Acrobat <laughs> uh, tools of course they've got all the PDF features here and you can of course also create QR codes okay I know that when I go to conferences for example people have QR codes right like they'll make it as their uh, actual wallpaper on their phone and you can just have a QR code if you're going to conferences and that can then take you uh, take that person to your um, you know your LinkedIn profile or your Instagram right and so you can create QR codes right inside of Adobe Express really easily as well okay you can choose a template to remix for free remix basically means you take a template and then you take and then you make it your own right you change the words you put in a different image your own image that sort of thing that's what what we refer to as remixing a template all right 
you can save time with templates there's tons of templates here right lots of templates you can collaborate as well in real time so if you have a team that needs to use Adobe Express you need to collaborate in terms of ideas and things like that real time all online you don't have to be in the same place looking at the same computer you can access the Adobe Express platform from your own computers your own accounts and then work on the same project at the same time really really cool feature such a time saver now let's talk a little bit about the plans there is a free plan right you can see right here there's a free plan and then there's a premium plan there's two plans here that's available so free plan you don't need a credit card right it's free forever so you get access to basic editing and photo effects you can get access to over 2000 adobe fonts you have uh, access to adobe stock royalty free photo collection so images and pictures that you can use in your design uh, thousands of templates and design assets you can also uh, store up to two gigabytes worth of files and you can create both on the web and on mobile as well Okay. Now, the premium plan gives you a little bit more, and it's actually only $9.99 per month as far as I know. We're, we're going to look in the pricing page in just a second, but you still get access to premium features, including image resizing. Now, instead of 2,000 fonts, you get 20,000 Adobe fonts, over 160 million Adobe stock photos. You can add your logo and branding in one click, plan, schedule, and publish your content. So you can actually create and design your content, your images right inside of Adobe Express, and then schedule them for your social platforms right inside of Adobe Express in the content scheduler, okay? Really cool tool. You don't have to export the image and then upload them to you know Hootsuite or Later or one of those platforms. You can schedule it right from Adobe Express. Um, all of the premium templates and design assets, instead of two gigabytes of storage, you get 100 gigabytes worth of storage, which is incredible. That's a lot of that's a lot of files. There's a lot of images and videos. You can also create, of course, on the both on the web and mobile, and then you can convert and export to PDFs as well. All right. So let's look at the pricing really quick before we jump into my Adobe account here. And here we go. Individual plans. There's a free account, as you know, on the left, and then the premium account is $9.99 per month, okay? If you go with an annual plan, you're going to save 16%. It's going to be $100 per year, and so you essentially get about two months for free if you do it that way, okay? There's also a 30-day free trial on the paid plan. Um, that you can start with if you want to check this out and not commit to anything at all but you can try out a 30-day free trial um, right there okay now there's also I believe a student plan so there's a student plan here and so if you're a student you can go and check that out really easily okay so that's a little bit about Adobe Express now let's go into my actual Adobe Express account um, by the way, there is a uh, free trial or there is a link in the show notes uh, and also in the description of this video that you can go and click and you can actually go and check out Adobe Express if you're looking for uh, just a direct shortcut to that website that I just showed you. And you can create an account, create a free account. There's literally no hurdle or, or anything standing in your way. You don't have to make a decision today. You can start using Adobe Express for free. And again, there's no expiry to the free account. There's no credit card required. Start playing around with Adobe Express. All right. So let's go back into my screen. So once you've created your account, it'll look like this. All right. So this is my actual Adobe Express um, account. Uh, I'm inside here now. And so you can kind of see, of course, um, let me just get this little marker out of the way. Um, here's the custom sizing. That I was talking about so you can go here and you can actually click here if you want to uh, create an image that is custom sized that you can't see uh, a template for here all right um, let me get out of that and so here on the top right away you see all the different templates Instagram story templates Instagram posts Facebook posts posters logos so on collage I can scroll to the right album cover book cover YouTube thumbnail which I use a lot of course even resumes, invitations, right? Collage, flyers, right? There's so many things here that you can uh, create. Scroll down a little bit, you got quick actions. These are the quick actions, both for 
uh, images, for videos, the QR code we were talking about, PDFs that I mentioned earlier. Uh, you can remove your background, right? These are the popular uh, features or actions. You can remove backgrounds, resize your images, convert to GIF, convert to MP4, so on, trim videos, resize videos, and so on. I can keep scrolling here. I can look at images and see what I can do with images, videos, QR code, PDF. Really, really easy. Now I'm going to scroll down here. It's going to show me some different of the, you know, some different popular um, templates, right? Uh, holiday creations that just kind of passed popular templates here. Uh, Instagram stories. You can see all of this. Instagram posts, so on. Trending backgrounds, Facebook posts, posters, logos, right? And different things that are also included with your Adobe Express, Premiere Rush, Photoshop Express, all of those things. Okay, flyers, collages. I'm going to just scroll here so to give you a little bit of an idea. YouTube thumbnails, resumes, right? Um, and then d discover the latest. Now, on the left-hand side, I'm going to show you a couple of different options that you can also check out beyond this homepage, right? There's projects, first of all. There's brands, libraries, scheduler, which we talked about, and learn. Okay, I'm going to touch on them really quick. Um, projects, this is where all of your different projects that you're working on will stay. Everything is saved here, right? You can create different projects um, that is yours, ones that are shared with you as well, and then also the recent projects that you have uh, worked on. Okay, so you can go here. Very, very cool, very easy. Brands on the left hand side, you can create your own brand. So, for example, I have a U screen brand and I have my own brand here, right? And so, with this, you can go in and you can actually pick the colors, the fonts, right? Logos, you can upload logos here. You can change all the different colors and pick those as well, right? And you can have all of that here your times, your stamps, your water, water, watermark, right? <laughs> forgetting what you call that, your logo, and all those things, okay? Um, and then right below that on the left hand side below brands we have libraries and so this is where you basically have different folders it's kind of like a folder file folder system right I have my creator TV guest images here right so these are all the, the assets there you go different pictures of guests that I've had on my podcast um, and so those are the images that I've uploaded, um, different uh, video podcast thumbnails, different logos that I use. It's all here in the assets. You'll see uh, Spotify and Anchor, Stitcher, right? All of those logos here. So libraries essentially is a file folder system that you have there as well. Okay. And then lastly, we've got scheduler. Okay, I'm going to be using this more and more, but you can see here that I've got uh, my Twitter account and Instagram and things all connected here um, in the scheduler. Okay. All right. And so we're going to go back to Adobe Express. And then finally, we've got Learn. Now, this is something that I really love with Adobe and Adobe Express is that they have so many resources right there's so many resources here they have tutorials about almost everything and all the things that really matter right if you're trying to figure this out it, it, it's actually very easy once you spend a bit of time once you've set up your account with adobe express and you start playing around with the different templates and different features you're just clicking around you'll learn very quickly that it's a really easy platform to navigate um, but if you want a bit of assistance right um, they've got so many different resources. They've got live streams. There's so many Adobe ambassadors. You can go to YouTube. You can find so many different things to help you. But here, they've actually made it very easy. How to schedule a post, right? There's different videos and resources for all of the if important features inside of Adobe Express, right? How to apply your brand, how to add design assets, you know, integrate with Google Drive, um, undo, redo, all of these things, it's all here, right? I'm gonna click on one. You can see that it shows you how to use this feature, how to create a curved text, right? Okay, so we're gonna get out of that, but just want to show that with for you uh, to you as well. Okay, there's so many so many things that you can use Adobe Express for to learn inside all of the resources that they have. All right, so that being said, I'm just going to go back into my screen here. 
I'm gonna land this plane. I'm gonna I'm gonna sh uh, shut down this video here. Um, hopefully that was really helpful. Again, this is just surface level of what Adobe Express can do for you. I really hope that it helps you just get an understanding of what it is like inside of Adobe Express, what you can use Adobe Express for. If you're already using platforms like Canva or Photoshop or one of those platforms, Adobe Express is going to be so easy to learn, so easy to understand. You're going to be able to create designs on the go that look super professional. You can have templates that you can just reuse over time, over and over again. It's just going to make your life so much easier. And my one of my favorite uh, features is the scheduler. I'm going to be using that more and more so that I can just like create the designs, you know, spend a bit of time on a Monday morning and then schedule them for the rest of the week, um, you know, specifically on Instagram and on LinkedIn. So uh, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions about Adobe Express, anything about the platform or how to use it or features or different things that you want to do with Adobe Express, please leave a question in the comments. That's really what it is all about. I have an awesome relationship with the Adobe Express team. Um, you know, being as one of their ambassadors out here, um, it's really cool to have access to them. So if you have any questions, I would love to ask them and answer uh, those questions in a future video. All right. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thanks for hanging out with me here and make sure you subscribe before you head over to the next video um, and I'll see you soon. Take care.